What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today's August 31st, 2021. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and subscribe on your way in. Uh, when I look at my analytics, uh, not a lot of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So it'd be awesome if you guys aren't subscribed to subscribe. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Voyager. We got the VLP coming out tomorrow. Uh, also, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Daytona. Uh, I was also on DJ Crypto's live stream last night with Steve Ehrlich and Landon Castle. And then last, I'm gonna talk about NFTs. My favorite project, Badass Bulls, has grown significantly. They have something that they're doing that they that no other person has done before. So guys, check this out, stay tuned. All right, guys, so today's video, uh, we're gonna start out talking about the current market. So the market is down 0.37% the last 24 hours. We got Bitcoin sitting about 47,120, 47,172, Ethereum at $3,414, Cardano at $278, and Binance Coin at $465. Top gainers we have the last 24 hours, we got Kasama up 27%, $404. We got Ren up 11%, sitting at 76 cents. And last, we got Polkadot at 11.26% up, and it's sitting at about $30.49. Top losers you got the last 24 hours. We got uh, Cello, Cello, uh, down 18%, sent at $5.69. Mask Network, down 13%, sent at $11.42. And Playdap, down 11.55%, sent at about $1.24. All right, so what is today? Today is August 31st. It is National Trail Mix Day, Eat Outside Day, uh, Independence Day in Malaysia, it looks like. It's also International Overdose Awareness Day, Love Litigating Lawyers Day, National Matchmaker Day, and World Distance Learning Day. So I bet a lot of people are familiar with that because of, you know what, the last year and a half or whatever. we, whatever. All right, guys, uh, Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Uh, last 24 hours, we are greed. Yesterday was greed. Last week was extreme greed. I like looking at this. Kind of gives you a sense when to, you know, Try to buy some crypto, not financial advice, but you always got to uh, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So I like this. I also came across this website called, called Coin Market Cal. And essentially it is a cryptocurrency calendar that is evidence-based and community-driven. So at the top of this website, you can see it's trending. It has, you know, what's trending right now? It has fan is trending. It looks like they got a token burn coming up on the 4th of September. It has the most views. Uh, and then I guess you can vote on it if you like it or you don't like it or whatever. So this is pretty cool. Luna, Columbus 5 launch on September 9th. And Cardano, you guys all know, it has the Alonzo Hard Fork smart contracts on 12 September. Uh, and then it also breaks it down into subcategories of significant. Uh, My Neighbor Alice, uh, Uniswap is a, has a Bitpanda Pro listing on September 1st. And then What's Hot, this fan token, they got the burn, community burning. Meteor Network, Fireballers, NFT drop on 1st of September. And then it has coins with potential, bunch of coins I haven't heard of except for Cardano. So yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you guys, coinmarketcal.com. It's all, it gave me the idea when, you know, there's a coin listed or something and it spikes up, you're always like, oh, what happened, what happened? Like, you're trying to figure out the news or whatever. So this kind of might guide you guys in the right direction. All right, crypto bubbles for you uh, visual people out there. The last uh, day, top movers we have. Kasama, like I first mentioned, up 27%. Uh, AR, Arweave, never heard of that one either, up 13%. And DOT, again, up 11.5%. You guys are on the Voyager app. You can earn up to 12% interest holding Polkadot. So I have a little bag of that, so why not earn 12% interest holding a pretty good, pretty good uh, coin? All right, guys, so first I want to talk about the Voyager token. So I was on DJ Crypto show last night. Uh, he had some BGX heroes on there. Landon Castle was on there. Uh, Floki, Steve Ehrlich, the CEO of Voyager. And it was mainly a live stream just focused on the Daytona event and, you know, all of our experiences, what was our biggest uh, takeaway from it. 
So I went on there, I talked a little bit. It was uh, pretty awesome, you know, you know, uh, being on his show with with the CEO of, of Voyager, and I'm just I'm just a nobody. I'm just some dude on the internet that likes talking about crypto. But I got to hang out with him in a suite at uh, the Daytona Speedway for the Wawa 250 this past weekend. If you guys haven't seen my latest video, it actually is kind of like a vlog of the whole thing, so it was kind of cool. But you guys can check that out. But uh, in the interview last night. Just a couple takeaways. They didn't really talk anything about uh, the, the the VLP program or any other types of news. He did say, though, that in the next one to two weeks, they are going to be listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. So that's pretty big news. And then also he said that uh, there is also a big marketing announcement next week that only like 10 of his employees know. And I think Landon said he knew about it during the live stream last night. But he said, think big. So think big, whatever that means. So I, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, what, what potentially could they be, you know, marketing or what are they going to release or something? But uh, they have a partnership with like Amazon or something. Like, I don't know what think big means to him. It's something with like a sports uh, partnership or something, sports team partnership. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Voyager. Also, another thing that they announced the other day that the VGX 2.0 swap portal is going to remain open until September 20th, 2021. 20, uh, Deadline to swap your LGO and VGX tokens is extended at the request of our community and exchange partners to ensure everyone has ample time. So I was wishing it was like just one September and they just burned all the LGO tokens, thus, you know, decreasing the supply, increasing the price of the token. I don't have any LGO tokens. I don't care. They had plenty of time, those people, to do it. If they're not up to date with what's going on with their coins and their investments, then so be it. They should uh, just let their tokens go and lose their money or whatever. But that's just me. Um, so if you are an LGO token holder, you now have until September 20th uh, to do so. There was some you know, little drama, chatter in the comments. Uh, this is a big no-no. Deadlines, deadline, 20 days, seriously. And then they said VLP is still on track. So there's no delays uh, tomorrow, VLP, you will start uh, accruing those perks on those certain tier levels. So that is some good positive news. Uh, last for VGX Heroes, we got my best buddy, Six Fig Stock Trader, finally inducted to the VGX Heroes as Leonardo Bonacci, or if you guys know in TA, the Fibonacci. One of the most talented mathematicians of the Middle Ages, you introduced the base 10 numeral system and prime numbers. I induct you real six fig VGX heroes as Fibonacci, creator of the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. So I think six fig's gonna bring a lot to the VGX hero community uh, and Voyager community. He's on the Discord. He's real good with technical analysis. So look for him in the chart section, uh, education section, or just be, be uh, feel free to send him a DM if you guys have any questions about technical analysis, I go on his channel. He's probably going to come on my channel later this week to live stream, look at some different uh, coins and do some TA. So just shout out to Six Fig. Go make sure you guys subscribe and follow him. Here's his page on Twitter. And I'll leave a link below for his, uh, for his YouTube channel. Yeah, Six Fig Stock Trader. So he's got about 112 followers now. But uh, he just looks like he just uploaded a video. I'm going to have to check that one out. He does some TA on VGX, CKB, and Bitcoin. All right, guys, jumping into the next topic of discussion for today is the badass bulls. Now, I haven't been paying attention to the market, uh, NFT market and badass bulls because, you know, I was down in Daytona for the, day, for the race and the meetup for VGX Heroes. But uh, badass bulls is blown up, guys. Uh, there's now 746 owners. The floor price is 0.14, although I think this weekend when I was checking my phone, it got all the way up to maybe 0.4, which is insane. So it's good to see a little pullback and whatnot. Uh, total volume traded is 211 Ethereum. It looks like the cheapest one you can buy right now is 0.13 ETH. And at the current rate, that's about $443. And then it starts going up 0 0.138, 0 0.139, so on and so forth. So make sure you guys snag one. I still think this is going to go up in price. So badass announcements. Kind of like summary of uh, what's happened the last couple days. But uh, they are doing a giveaway. I'll get to that soon. But Luke, he is the creator of Badass Bulls. It's officially sold out. And they're currently trading above 10x the mint price. They've traded over 200 Ethereum verified by OpenSea. Like I said, they launched the web, the website, Badass Bulls, last week. You can check Rarity of the Bulls on both Rarity Tools, which is they just 
got that added, and the Rarity Sniper. They donated over $1,800 USD to charities since it started. Badass Bowl owners including eSports pros, NASCAR drivers, and tech founders. Unofficial NFT to VGX Heroes, and almost 35% ownership, meaning we have a healthy community ready for big things. Uh, we're going to be updating you all on some of the future plans real soon. They also had Operation Diamond Hooves. We want to reward the hooves of the herd, giving away some great prizes for the badass hobblers out there. First place going to get one rare badass bull, 128 out of 2222. Um, second place, 0.15 ETH, and third place, 0.1 ETH. How do you enter? Each badass bull that's not listed or delisted by 1st September is equal to one entry. So each badass bull that is listed at 1.5 ETH or higher is equal to one entry. So this will end September 10th. Uh, react with a diamond if you have diamond hooves. So that's one of the, one of the uh, operation things, contest giveaways they're doing. And then here's the big one. So something special that they're doing this week, they're hosting most likely is, I'm not 100% too certain, but the first eSports tournament with NFTs is prizes. And they've got some big names confirmed already. So they shared this on Twitter. Uh, some of the best Warzone talent battling it out for their share of the $2,550, including three badass bull NFTs for the winners. Uh, go up against your favorite badass bulls like Tommy and Iceman Isaac. It looks like those are some of the announcements. First round of captains. Welcome our first captains on Twitter. It looks like they just did this. I'm not exactly too with that. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'll have to look that up. But yeah, don't miss out. So they have Tommy. It looks like he's an esports guy. 194,000 followers. And Iceman Isaac, he's got about 64.7 thousand. Uh, followers, so they're, it's it's good that they're partnering with these esports guys. The name's getting bigger, badass bulls. Uh, so just uh, figured I'd give you guys a quick update there. And like again, I said before, uh, they do have rarity tools up, badass bulls. You guys can see here's a quick overview. So say you want to look at the cheapest one right here, that's 0.13 is badass bull 767. So you go over to this ID, type in 767, look it up. This will give you all the statistics. Rarity score, 378. So the rank, it's 1,265 of 2,222, which actually isn't that bad compared to some of the other ones because I did a couple rarity tool checks on uh, the next ones that they had up in price, and they were between like 1,800 and like 2,100 of 2,222. So just another thing to uh, put into your kit bag if you guys are interested in looking up the rarity of the bad, these badass bulls. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you do see this, I know DJ Crypto is doing a roundtable with Daniel Finance and uh, Rob from Digital Asset News, which who's pretty big YouTuber tonight, uh, I believe at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you guys check that out. And if you haven't already, please give me a follow on Twitter. That is where I'm the most active. Uh, please subscribe. Like I said, a lot of the views on my channel are people from are people that are unsubscribed. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. You don't have to. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I have for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to try to pump one out every single day. And uh, I'm probably going to go live later this week with Six Fig, probably on Thursday night. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, have a great day. Crypto Airborne is out.